Hello there. We are here at PAS, the Percussive Arts Society show here in Indianapolis. Uh, it got cold today, so uh, long sleeve shirts, and we're, we're all here hanging out and having a great time. Uh, I've been asked by Vic Firth to, uh, to talk a little bit about what I do for warm ups and some uh, uh, general uh, get ready for the gig type of exercises or thoughts. And um, as I talk about on my online school, uh, which can be accessed through my website, DaveWeckle.com, I talk a lot about uh, you know, different technical things that, uh, that can help you express yourself as a drummer, because that's the end of the, uh, the, the whole end game, is to be able to play what you want to play, say what you want to say on an instrument, and to um, do it with the uh, least amount of fatigue and uh, body damage, right? So um, we don't have a lot of time here, but from the way that I play, there's two specific things that I think will, uh, will help you. And um, whether you play soft, whether you play loud. And these are two different types of exercises um, as a basis, which are controlled strokes. And I play traditional grip most of the time, so I'll be demonstrating in that uh, uh, grip. So traditional controlled strokes. That basically means that I am not letting go of the sticks anywhere, that uh, all, the, all the fingers are on the stick at all times. Uh, I'm concerned with the, uh, my geometry here that I don't want the sticks to be weird in any way, that approaching it this way from basic, the basic American grip positioning, uh, which means wrist over this way, Germans out here, French, whatever, but control strokes, American grip position. Uh, and this is really a controlled grip is for anything that you, uh, or controlled stroke, is for anything you want to play softly. So when I'm considering warming up and doing uh, any exercises where I'm doing controlled strokes, uh, I'm keeping the volume down and I'm making sure that I never go into an open stroke fashion, which would be more up here of letting go of the strokes, letting go of the sticks, letting them bounce. So single strokes and um, you can do this with metronome if you want to practice time-oriented things. Basically for me, when I'm practicing these type of strokes, I'm more concerned with the evenness. So I like to wash the top of my sticks to make sure they're the same height. Uh, it can really benefit uh, with using a mirror to check this out. Uh, so a lot of dressing rooms are great for this because they have big mirrors. So I used to always sit in front of them and look at, the, look at my sticks. But without a mirror, you can just kind of look up here and see that you're keeping them at the relatively the same height. Because you don't want to be doing this, obviously it'll be uneven. So we want even singles, control strokes. The next thing on top of that would be open strokes, which is utilizing complete rebound and bounce. Uh, in the right hand, I'm still maintaining contact with all the fingers all the time. My primary grip point or fulcrum point in the hand is the middle finger and the thumb, flat part of the thumb on the stick all the time. And I'm concentrating on letting the stick do the work for the up portion of the down up. Okay, so we have an action, we have a reaction of the rebound. And this should pretty much feel weightless and very easy to do. Obviously, we want to do the same thing. We want to work on, on playing loudly and more open. Left hand traditional, I'm, I'm really opening up, but you notice that my fingers are staying down the stick this way. That allows me to keep fulcrum here so the stick doesn't slide, doesn't go anywhere. Um, when doing these exercises, balance point is really important. So stick out the back, stick here, find that balance on your stick so you're bouncing easily. And then just let it bounce. It's like you're bouncing a ball. It's a very easy way to play singles. And you notice that I'm not closing the gap here. Okay? That gap is staying open. So I'm slow to fast and back down, back down to control strokes. Open it up to open strokes. You can have a really decent warm up utilizing these two concepts. There's a lot more, of course, with double strokes, combining doubles and singles. 
which is what a lot of what I do when I warm up. I'm just constantly doing combinations of double singles, which are become paradiddle type of strokes. And then I focus on melody practice, utilizing all of this where I'm not concentrating on a rudiment per se, but I'm concentrating on the melody of what I'm playing. So there's usually a groove. This works well to play with music that you can be listening to when you're warming up, or you can even get a metronome and pipe that into your ears and, and practice your time while you're warming up for the technique. Okay, so. Okay, so closed, controlled strokes, open, big, loud strokes, combinations, doubles, singles, paradiddles, have fun.